You can basically count on one hand how many companies are USA based and still making flashlights that you can actually carry in your pockets. This is one of them. And on top of being a USA made flashlight company, they are capable of using a variety of different uh, battery types and they're usually under $100. We're gonna talk about four different flashlights from Peak LED Solutions. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so these four flashlights are made by a company called Peak LED Solutions. Now I found these out on my exploration towards finding something pocketable that functioned well as a flashlight right made here in the US. And this was a cool product because most of these come in under the $60 price point. Something that the majority of USA made flashlights don't unless they're a mag light, which are not really good flashlights at all. That's another story. These actually are cool because they use pretty much any chemistry, battery chemistry that can be run in that size range. So for instance, this is the AAA variety called the Editor. And it is currently set up with a 10440, which is a high drain battery over three volts. And check this thing out. Very, very bright. And I, it comes also in an option of your personal preference of emitter. So this is a high CRI, which is what I wanted. And how cool was that? Very, very bright. Uh, the same thing is true with the AA variety called the El Capitan. I like this one as well. I set it up with the 10, uh, 14500. And this one, I even have it with a tail switch, which you can press, and the harder you press, the brighter it gets. That's part of their design, and we'll talk a little bit more about that. There's also a CR123 variety. This will use not only a CR123, it'll also use the RCR123, which is a rechargeable version, and the 16340. So it'll take all three of those without any issue. So it sounds great so far. But there's a reason why I haven't talked about them, even though I've had them for probably six or seven months. I've never carried them for the simple fact that they advertise that they should be fully adjustable from a low all the way to high. But that's not actually what happens. Let me put these aside for a second. If I just turn this on a little bit, what happens is, is they flicker. Now that's pretty much the high mode. But if I go a little bit lower, it's essentially an unusable light. Uh, in today's, you know, competition of different lights, this is not really okay. Um, you really have to be committed to using them basically in their high mode only. And if you do, these are can be fine. Um, they don't come with pocket clips. They don't have a pocket clip that's specifically enabled for them. But yeah, they are pretty much keychain exclusive unless you're using the button. So you're gonna have a hard time um, getting access to them. That's the other problem that I personally have. And I also noticed that they, uh, if you have the head set up so that the button works, sometimes you can press down on the head and it'll actually turn on as well, which is not the end of the world. It's just major, just kind of making sure that you adjust it. Notice I'm just pushing on the cap there. But uh, I would skip them. As much as I would love to promote this company and this product, the quantum tunneling technology that they are advertising for does not live up to the expectations they have set. It is not a continuous uh, output that is usable. What you get is basically flickering at every single output with the exception of the highest setting. And, uh, even with all of the stuff they've built in here, I don't think that's a good enough reason, especially when for the money, you can get much better flashlights. They might not be made in the United States, but they will function and give you a lot more usability. Having actual low modes, being able to access that low mode uh, directly from the tail or the side switch without going from one to the other, you know, the high to low, these just, feel very outdated. And unfortunately, the company has not changed their track. I don't think they're any they're interested in doing anything but these flashlights, unfortunately. I would love to see it though. If this company, Peak LED Solutions, ever makes a standard flashlight 
in the double A size with a pocket clip, tail switch, and three modes, you better believe I will buy one and let you guys know what I think. I would love to be able to do that, but as is, I would not recommend any of these lights unless you're willing to basically use them on high only and that you accept that they don't have a pocket clip that works with it. I mean, you can jerry-rig it with another clip from somewhere else, but they currently don't have one that's designed specifically for the light. All right, well, that's it. I don't have anything else to say about it. Uh, I just wanted you guys to be made aware before I likely sell these. Um, yeah, thanks again for your time. I really do appreciate it. And as always, we'll talk again soon.